Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing one of my favorite things and that is reviewing a new self tanning system. I already used it, I filmed myself applying it last night, filmed the results this morning, and then this is me post shower, post makeup, just really, really loving the results. The system I'm gonna talk about today is Coco and Eve. I have seen this all over Instagram, all over Facebook. These ads have been taunting me for months and when they reached out and asked to send a system, I was like, sure, I would love to try it. So they did send me these products complimentary, but this video is not sponsored. I used them on my own time and wanted to share because I think it's really helpful to know how self-tanning systems work. So first let me show you what they sent over. So first we have the Sunny Honey Bally Bronzing Foam. This is in the shade Dark. I usually prefer to order self-tanning systems in the darkest shade, but when I was looking at pictures of this and on their website, I really thought that Ultra Dark might just be a little too dark for me. And I'm glad I went with Dark because it was just perfect. So this is a great mousse has a little pump. So this foam is anti-cellulite, anti-aging, and it is supposed to hydrate and firm the skin. And to apply it, you use a mitt. Now I only use a mitt. When applying tan to my whole body, using my hands doesn't work and any other tool, I don't know. I just love the mitts. So they also sent over their soft velvet tanning mitt. It looks a little weird because I used it last night and I washed it, so it's still air drying. Um, but it's a really soft, really nice fitting mitt. Has a nice little elastic around the wrist. It came in a bag. This is hypoallergenic and it does ensure that the foam is distributed evenly over the body. They also sent me one of their kabuki brushes. This has very soft, fine bristles and it's used for tricky to tan areas. So you can use it on your face, your ears, your hands, your feet, any area that might be a little difficult to get into with the mitt. When I was tanning, I completely forgot to use this on my face and I used the mitt because that's what I normally do. I actually really love the mitt when applying to my face, but I did go back and do a second coat on my face, which I don't know if that was a good idea or not because it really showed, but this was super easy to use. And next time, if I remember, I think I'm gonna try to use this exclusively just cause it's a great little hack, a great way to get into those areas. Uh, one thing I did use the brush for off camera, I didn't film this last night, but sometimes I like to tan just the front of my scalp because my scalp is incredibly white. Like it is blinding white. And when I tan the rest of my body, it just stands out. So I kind of took this and dabbed some of the mousse right into the hairline there. And I think it blended very, very well. They sent one more product. I didn't use it, but I do want to share it with you. These are their bronzing face drops. What's great about these is you can just add them to your moisturizer. So just use two to three drops with your moisturizer at night. It's a non-drying formula. It's alcohol free and it'll just give you a nice gradual tan and you can build upon it every single night. You really can control the darkness. I might do a whole nother video featuring these over time. Um, since I was using the mousse last night, I just wanted to use that all over my whole body. So quick rundown of the application, my experience, my thoughts, and the final results. So last night I applied the mousse to my whole entire body using the mitt. I like that there is a little color that shows up on the skin as soon as you apply it. It really helps to guide the application. You can see the immediate difference when I put it on my arm compared to my other arm. It was just the perfect amount of glow. Um, I found it very easy to use. The smell wasn't too intense. That is something I'm always trying to take note of when it comes to self tanners. I have to say that this smell really was not terribly strong. Um, it did have a little hint of that self tanner smell, but it wasn't as bad as some of the other systems I've tried, just to be completely honest. So I applied this to my arms, my chest, my stomach, my legs, my back, and my face. Normally I like to ask for help with my back, but I was riding solo last night, so I had to work with what I had. It's also winter, so I'm not exposing that part of my body, so I wasn't too concerned about it. To be honest, I don't normally tan head to toe in the winter. I usually just do like my face, neck, and chest area, or my legs or arms if I'm gonna be wearing something that's exposing those parts. Once it was applied, I totally forgot about the kabuki brush. I went back and did a second layer on my face and neck, which which was intense. Like you can see here, I look dark, like dark, dark, dark. It was intense. So I was a little worried that I overdid it, but this morning after showering, I realized it wasn't so bad. So after that, I always like to put on really baggy clothes. I have these loose fitting t-shirts and sweatpants that I hold onto for the sole purpose of self tanning. And then I just kind of air dried for a little bit. I did hit myself with a blow dryer, like just up the shirt and down the pants real quick, just on the cool setting to help get rid of some of that stickiness. You can also add a little baby powder if you want, but I didn't feel the need to do that because it didn't feel terribly sticky. So I went to bed, I had this tan on for 
at least eight hours, probably 10 hours. The cool thing about this is that it will develop in two. Obviously, the longer you leave it on, the better results you will have, but it's cool that it can be used as a speed treatment as well. So I woke up and was a little terrified at what I saw. I just looked so incredibly tan, but a shower always fixes that. So I took a quick shower, just rinsed off, washed my hair, and really loved the natural look when I got out. It totally evened out. Yeah, my face was a little darker than the rest of my body, probably due to those two coats, but I loved how natural my arms and legs looked. It was just a very good color for me. I'm not so into the incredibly tan look anymore, but I just don't want to be pasty white to the point where I glow. There was a little bit of odor when I woke up, but after showering, it really went away. I think when you sweat, you might know notice it come back a bit, but I don't notice it on myself today. Like in my regular clothes, I don't get any of that residual smell. So that's a really, really big bonus for me. Overall, I'm very happy with the system. I love the final results. I'm going to insert another clip here of me now post shower so you can just see. I don't know if it got rid of my cellulite. I still see a little bit there, but it's a nice thought. Maybe it's like a mental thing. We'll just think that it's gone. So overall, I really enjoyed the system. I think it's right up there with the other systems that I've used and loved. So props to Coco and Eve for this one. All of this comes in a bundle except for the face drops, so I'm gonna link that below. I'll also link the individual products so you can just check it out and order what you want. I'm very happy with this. I feel like a new woman. Like I woke up this morning, took a shower, put my makeup on all before my fiance woke up, and then he came in the kitchen and he was like, oh my god, you look, you look really nice today. I was like, thank you. Mind you, yesterday I was just like, I had such a rough day. I didn't put on any makeup. I was dressed like a total frump. I was so, so pale and my hair hadn't been washed. I had like a big rat's nest on my head. So this morning it was like night and day, honestly, like two completely different people, but it's nice. I think a little tan and a little makeup, it just works wonders for our confidence. It just boosts my mood so much and I'm really happy to have another system on hand. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you want me to try any other self tanning systems. Always down to try them out. And that's really it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in my next one.